fancy hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off, I am flawed And I'll tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home Oh, oh, oh I hate all this overthinking Oh, 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 oh The more I swim, the more I'm singing Terrible breaks lead to terrible things that have you sitting in your chair and wishing you had taken bowling more serious. Uh, this table is littered with problems and one being we have to get perfect on the 6 to get on the short side of the 7 unless you really, really insist on shooting a 7-9 combination, which I would try my best to avoid. I'll deal with it if I have to, but if I don't have to, I'll find a way around it. And then we have this doomsday disaster with the 2-4 ball tied up. Now the 2 ball is bankable, but you really want to avoid a bank just like you want to avoid a combination if you can. Perhaps the most glaring problem is this cue ball hanging in the top right hand corner pocket with a very, very, very difficult shot on the one ball. But let's look on the good side of things, and this uh, tangent line on the one ball, if we shoot it in the bottom right-hand corner, is going straight into the four ball, which will automatically knock out the two ball and get it in the right place. Uh, that's, that's what we're uh, kind of... Uh, Hoping for with the ad added benefit of is if we dog the one and leave it in the corner pocket, we should be kind of safe, um, but maybe not. So let's not take a chance and actually make the one and use that tangent line to break out that cluster. And yeah, that kind of has me filled with glee and frolicking through the meadow, but the shot on the two ball is going to make it really hard to get right on the three, and it's going to leave me with a difficult shot to get back on the four ball. And I'm going to have to juice this three ball and go the long way home. But you know what? It's okay. It's all right. A stop shot will leave me perfect. And now it's all about getting that right angle on the six ball in order to get to the short side of the seven. So let's go ahead and play the loop back and see how it all works out. And before we get to that, we are going to play the run out like we always do. But before we get to that, I want to mention that I've been playing a whole lot of one ball one pocket yeah imagine that me i'm not a big fan of one pocket i respect the game i love the players who play it i have nothing but admiration for these guys it's just not my thing so i figured yeah i would hate one ball one pocket but i ran across it a couple of weeks ago with two really great probably the two greatest players the greatest one pocket players in the world playing it and i absolutely fell in love with it because it's a game for shot makers there's far more offense involved than defense so on damn near every shot they're going for it and they're very very difficult shots so they're either missing them and getting safe or missing them and selling out or making them so it's all on the line with one ball, one pocket. And the first guy that makes one ball in their pocket wins the game. It's a gambler's game. It has not really caught on to the tournament trail. It's kind of been hidden back in the back rooms for a long, long time. But it's got my name all over it. And we're going to be covering that game. I'm going to show you some things that you absolutely need to know in order to be competent at that game. So either you're going to love that video or you're going to hate it. But I'm going to be publishing it. And that's just the way it's going to be. Peace, guys and gals. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you next time. Empty hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off, I am flawed And I'll tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home Oh, oh, oh I hate 
Wasting time Yeah, I wanna run off and fly